doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. Thanks to our awesome friends on Instagram, foodie mini brands are on the way. I ordered them online from Target.com. Now we just have to wait on the mail. Or we can take a look at stuff we already have to build a scene. We made Subfrog a while ago and I had every intention of making more, like different types of food establishments so we can make a food court. But then I kind of never got around to it. Yeah, that happens. This was our fast food restaurant that we made years ago. Maybe we can pull pieces from these two rooms to make a hidden doll room. Our fast food restaurant was made out of a cereal box and, you know, it's been like, I want to say like f over four years and the walls have bowed a little bit over time. It was six years ago. Let's take foam board. It measures 20 by 30 inches. On the 20 inch side, I place my ruler 13 inches from the edge and cut to make a 13 by 20 inch board. Repeat to make two, score a line 14 and a half inches from the edge so it can bend. Repeat to make two, glue them together, making a large trifold. On another piece of foam board, I draw an 11 by 14 and a half inch rectangle, cut it out. I'm going to cover it with our black and white tile printable for the floor, but I don't glue it in just yet. Let's bring over Subfrog. Let's remove the counter and decide where we would like to place it. Maybe right here or maybe over there. We only need enough space to place a doll behind it. This is the doll from the Barbie Life in the City playset. And if we didn't want to craft our entire scene, we could totally use these Barbie playsets. But we are crafting and I think we need about three inches to comfortably move around. Hmm, we might have a little bit of a space issue. I cut a five and three quarter inch piece of foam board. I cut two pieces and then glue them together. I printed out our subfrog printable and glued it down. And it will go something like that. So this wall pretty much has to stay flat. Let's cut out the door from the fast food restaurant, trace it onto the wall and cut it out. Glue the door in for an instant faux door. Let's cover the back wall with a brick scrapbook paper. Then let's do our subway tile. Hmm, we have a little bit of space left on the end. Let's add our Froyo shop printables. There is a chance all of this will not fit, but we're gonna try anyway. Now that the walls are covered, we can glue in the floor, cut out a countertop. I'm covering it with a leftover printable, then glue it on. Cut and glue thin strips of foam board between the different backdrops and around the door. Let's go ahead and glue the counter in place. I made a few printable menus by taking pictures of some of our crafts. I made two different signs because I didn't know which one would fit in this space. So let's cut them out. Ah, uh, I really want the sign to hang in front, but that corner there, I don't know. I cut leftover foam board from the door into one and three quarter inch pieces. Glue them together in an L shape, just like the counter. Let's trim that down to an inch and a half. In hindsight, adding the Froyo shop was probably not the best idea. I am going to be a little cramped, but we're already committed, so let's keep going. Mini Frogs is going to look a little weird because it's in the corner. The sign is going to be super small. It might not even fit. You know what? Maybe we should just take the Froyo shop out. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. And the funny thing is, I knew this was going to happen. Recover the wall and hopefully those bright colors won't shine through. Cover the sign with the printables for the different restaurants. Cut out and glue the menus onto the back wall. I glued two on this side to go all the way across. I add three inch strips behind the sign, then attach it to the wall. So the signs hang above. Let's remove the clear plastic from the old counter. 
I glued some of our printables onto cardstock. Then we're gonna take the clear plastic and glue it onto the outside. Then glue it to the counter. Let's bring over our old drink dispenser, a few of our printable cups from our mini rib video, and let's add a Barbie cash register. I cut a small hole in the counter to fit it. A while back, I got a little paint on this piece of foam board, so I printed out our glass brick printable from our Barbie Rewind video to glue onto the wall. Problem solved. Let's make a neon light sign using clear plastic and puff paint from our neon light sign video, then let it dry. While waiting, cut a piece of foam board for the floor. I cover it with paper to match. I turn it over to the other side and score a line down the middle so it can be folded and stored inside the box when not in use. I want to use these chairs, but I don't have any more red paper to make more. Let's pull them off and use them as a guide to make more and recover the originals. I cut two pieces of foam board that are about five and a half inches tall. I cover it with the glass brick printable, glue them together, glue in the seating, so the dolls have a place to enjoy their meal. Now that we have this blue, I want to bring in more color. So I add blue and pink neon lights. I added them to the signs as well. Let's add a little greenery to make a hedge separating the eating area from the restaurants. Our sign is dry. It does glow in the dark. And we're going to just add it to the wall. Completing our miniature food court in a hidden doll room. Let's make sure it can still fold up. We're gonna have to take the table set and lay it on its side, put it right there, fold up the floor and place it on the side, then close the side wall. Yay! This space will be perfect for our foodie mini brands and all of our crafted food, like our mini rib inspired by the McRib so our dolls won't go hungry while waiting for our order to arrive. Thank you for joining us while we made a miniature food court for our dolls. All of these printables are available for free on our blog. Just check the link down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!